All right, hello everyone. I'd like to welcome Mr. Hillman today. He's gonna to be here talking about Youngstown State University. So we're gonna start with some introductions and then we're gonna put him on a timer here for some questions, keep him on the hot seat. So hopefully he's ready to go with uh, some answers for us. Are you ready, Mr. Hillman? We'll find out. All right, very good. All right, let's start with a few introductions. Um, as Mr. Basha said, I'm uh, Mr. Hillman. I teach at uh, John R. in Riverside. I've been here I would say about, I think it's 11 years. I taught one year at uh, Warren City Schools, um, and it was one year is enough for me, but I've been here 11 years teaching math. Uh, I also, right now, I'm currently the freshman uh, boys basketball coach. I have two kids, two boys, and a wife. Uh, hi, guys. <laughs> awesome, very good. All right, so now we're gonna put you on the timer. Are you ready? Let's go. First question, here we go. A little bit about Youngstown State, background information. All right, so I guess I'm not a true alum because I had to actually research and look, to look at things, but uh, Youngstown State's in the heart of Youngstown, Ohio, um, which is like, I guess, right smack dab between Cleveland and Pittsburgh. It's, it's kind of like the three little bears. Um, not too hot, not too cold, but just right. So it's not as big as, say, a, a, an OSU, um, but definitely not as small as, a, as a, um, a Lake Erie or, you know, our local, you know, colleges around here. Um, about 13,000 students, um, some of the big names, Jim Tressel, you know, he was there, football coach, went to Ohio State, now he's the president of Youngstown State. Um, Ed O'Neill, not sure if you guys are familiar with him, Modern Family, he's one of our uh, favorite characters on that show. Um, but yeah, it's, it's about 10,000, I would say, right now for uh, undergrad if you want to go there. Um, so yeah, there's Youngstown State. Awesome. I'm still going to ring the air horn. Just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. How did you decide on Youngstown? All right, so Youngstown, I think more for me was more of a financial. Uh, at the time, it was one of the cheaper cheaper colleges. Um, it was 20 minutes away, so I actually commuted. Um, I would go there and come back and live at home. You know, thanks mom and dad for that. Uh, but I wasn't really looking for a big, big college like an OSU or even a Toledo. Uh, we went to, I went to a, a, small, a small high school that had about 90 kids that we graduated. Um, I looked at, you know, I looked at Teal. I really want to play baseball, but I just didn't cut it. And Teal was out, out of state, more expensive. So it really came down to, one, they had what I, what I wanted. They were really well known in education. And two, it was, it was financially, it was in my best interest. Awesome, awesome. Um, so tell me a little about the campus. How did you feel on the campus? Uh, I felt, I mean, I felt safe. I mean, Youngstown, you think of Youngstown, it's kind of, at a time, it got kind of like a bad rap. Um, People uh, said, well, it's, you got to be careful and everything, but it, from my understanding, it's one of the safest campuses in, in uh, dang, you, you can out. finish your sentence. It's one of the safest campuses in Ohio. Awesome. All right, let's talk a little about academics. Academics. So again, I went there for education. Um, and I guess I had to rack my brain about academics and even college life. It's been, I think, 13 years since I graduated. So I'm getting old and it's hard for me to remember sometimes, but I remember some specific professors, um, education professors, you know, I was in with a lot of engineer classes or a lot of engineer kids because, you know, math and engineering go well together and they're, they're pretty big in, in uh, uh, engineering. Um, nursing is one of their biggest, my special ed education teacher wanted me to go into special education, but that just wasn't for me at the time. But you could tell that the teachers there just had a passion, not just for what they believed in, but also their students. Awesome. All right, let's talk about extracurriculars. All right, so as I said, I commuted. So my first, I would say two years, it was pretty much, I guess I was like a hermit. I would literally go to classes and come home and that was it. So I didn't really have the true experience and that was kind of me, I was just kind of reserved. Um, but as the years went on, um, they got a new rec facility, it was brand spanking new. So I played you know, intramural sports, um, worked out, and as I started to make more friends in my field, uh, we would meet and study and, and just kind of hang out at the campus. Uh, Kilcally uh, Center is like the hub of where you know, all the eats are at. Um, people kind of meet and just do their study sessions. Um, but you know, I, if I were to do it again, you know, I would have spent more time in those couple of years just to experience that college life a little bit more. Um, that's probably my biggest regret, going to more football games, more basketball games, and just, I guess, enjoying that college life that you're supposed to do. Awesome. I just love that, love that timer. Don't I do, I do. All right, anything else? Um, you know, like I said, I mean, it was a, it was a short drive, so, the, you know, the campus life, uh, you know, 
I think that's why I didn't stay as long. I know some of you guys, you know, you have that experience here if you go like a Lakeland or something like that. But, you know, Youngstown State's probably about, I would say, a good hour from here. So I don't know if I would recommend the commuting if you decide to go there. Um, but, you know, Youngstown State is a nice, small, uh, smallish vibe of, of a college. You still got the city with Youngstown. Um, you still have, like I said, Pittsburgh and Cleveland there. So if you're looking for that, but nothing too big, I mean, I think Youngstown State will be the, the college for you. Awesome. Well, Mr. Hillman and I uh, both went to Youngstown. I also uh, went there the last three years for my uh, graduate degree. So I spent some time at Youngstown myself. So very, very cool. And I enjoyed my experience very much. All right. I'm going to ring the air horn for you just because I can. Oh. All right. So, Mr. Hillman, thank you so much for sharing information about Youngstown State. Uh, you know where he's located over at John R. Feel free to you know, flag him down if you have any questions and he can give you a little bit more information if you'd like. And uh, it's nice to get a lot of different experiences. So please check out the other videos that are on the YouTube channel. We're gonna have videos for uh, OU and University of Cincinnati, uh, Case Western, Ashland University and more to come. So uh, this is kind of part of a series and we're, we're really excited to bring that to you. So thank you, Mr. Hellman, for being a part of this. Thank you, Mr. Bashes. Sure.